we're lucky to be joined by two students, Maihi and Sam, and we've just had the earthquake drill and tsunami hikoi. Maihi, how do you think it went here at Matata School? Oh, it was cut by. Like, there was a bit of a muck, muck around in the thing, but besides that, it was all cut by. I, I was actually watching and I thought you guys did the drop cover hold pretty quickly and then the hikoi was pretty brisk to your safe spot. Oh, that uh, drop cover and hold was actually um, one of the bestest ones I've seen so far because yeah. when I was doing the other ones, all of the people was talking. Yeah, so there was maybe a little bit of mucking around, a bit of talking. What do you think you could improve on, Sam? Well, I think we could improve on having the juniors on the non-roadside so that they won't wander off onto the road but other than that, that we did awesome well i think you did as well and why do you think it's good to practice sam it's good to practice so that when the actual event comes or natural disaster we won't panic and do the wrong thing yeah, that's right. So we've talked about practicing these things before so that it's almost like second nature. If, if an event does happen, then you don't have to think about it. You just automatically go ahead and do it. What sort of advice would you have for, for other schools or students, Maihi? Uh, just try your best. Try not muck around when you are practicing. And keep safe to your families. Oh, excellent advice. What about you, Sam? I think just practice, know where you're going, and make sure you keep the little ones safe. It's really good to think, see that you're, you know, you're thinking about others around you. It's obviously important to, to look after yourself, but also to consider the people around you as well. Some really good messages there, and we've had such a good time at your school. In fact, we've had a great time around the Bar Plenty Wairiki all week for this field trip. And it's been great visiting some different spots, learning about some of the science behind natural hazards, but more importantly, I guess, being prepared like you guys have obviously shown today uh, for, for any event that may occur and making sure that you're ready because we don't know when it's going to happen. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the field trip and can join us on another one soon. Kaki te ano. Kaki te.